Narcolepsy type 1 is uh, due to a lack of a chemical called orexin. And uh, it has been many years that we discovered that. And uh, 20 years later, finally, there are drugs that are coming that can replace this chemical in the brain. And there are two receptors for orexin, receptor 1 and receptor 2. And this drug kind of stimulates the receptor 2. So it replaces, which is the most important for narcolepsy. And th this drug company called Takeda was a front runner. They first uh, started to develop two other drugs that they tried and seemed to be very efficient in narcolepsy. It seems to suppress pretty much all the symptoms of narcolepsy. And truly what was published, it's a game changer. I mean, it would really elevate wakefulness in a way that we have never been able to do with the old narcolepsy treatment. So we were super excited. Unfortunately, the drugs, this past drugs could not make it to the market for various reasons. And now they have this compound called TACT861 that they are studying in narcolepsy type 1 and that turned out to be also very effective and that they are moving in phase 3. Um, so it's very exciting. Narcolepsy type 1, there's a lack of, of orexin. So this is the cause of narcolepsy that you're replacing by stimulating the orexin receptor 2. Uh, however, there are a lot of other types of narcolepsy and even idiopathic hypersomnia where people are tired for another reason than lacking the orexin. So, of course, the question is, would this drug help these patients as well? And they tried uh, this drug, tact exits one in patients with narcolepsy type 2, and they didn't really see, uh, we didn't see a really strong efficacy. Uh, so they have decided to really focus on narcolepsy type 1. The main reason is likely is that uh, narcolepsy type 1 are hypersensitive because they lack the orexin. So, of course, it's like they really want, you know, it's treating the cause. So you need a lower dose. And uh, I, I don't think with the TAC-861, uh, it's a perfect agent for narcolepsy type 2 and idiopathic hypersomnia. But it doesn't mean that other compounds are not going to be developed in that direction. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, pharmaceutical companies are not always very inventive. So once someone has shown that something works, not everyone is kind of jumping on the bandwagon. And uh, there are a lot of companies that are now developing uh, drugs that are stimulating the orexin receptor too. I think in my last count, I think I've counted eight. So it's clear that this drug will come. There will be many different types. Some will probably be better than others. You know, often it's good for the choice for the patient, you know. But definitely Takeda is a front runner. You know, they're already in uh, phase three. So it'll be the first drug that will really address a problem. And I'm sure that there will be other drugs from Takeda and other companies that will come after. A little bit like uh, the GLP-1 uh, agonist, you know, for weight loss. You know, I mean, a few people were ahead and now, you know, it looks like everyone, including my grandmother, is developing a GLP-1 agonist. I would say that I'm certainly very excited about this uh, development and I cannot wait to see how these drugs are going to behave in a large portion of the population because... There are a lot more patients that are tired than narcolepsy type 1. And right now, we don't have very good treatment for a lot of these people, including, for example, some people with depression. We don't know why they're tired or, or just like tiredness. You know, it, it's quite common. But of course, we don't know exactly what's going to happen in all these patients and we have to proceed cautiously.